Welcome to another episode of Ananda Marga DharmaCast, and I'm your host, Dada Veda Pragyananda, or many people call me Dada Veda, whichever one you use, it's fine with me, it's okay. And remember that this is a podcast series where we're looking at issues and topics in spirituality using the teachings of Sri Sri Ananda Murti as our basis. So today, I want to give three tips which will help your meditation greatly, which will lead you to really deep meditation. Now, these tips may not suit everybody, and because it depends on, you'll see when I get into them, your, your temperament and your, um, your approach to the world. But I think for many people, the, these three tips can be very helpful and even helpful across different kinds of spiritual practice. I know that there are many kinds of meditation, but these three tips could be helpful to many kind of, many people, whichever practice you're doing. So here's, I'm going to get into it now, and, and you'll see. I mean, immediately from the first tip, you'll see if it's for you or not. So the first tip, which I recommend, is that when you start your meditation, before you begin your actual process of what your meditation is, but you, you dedicate your mind in one direction, you say, I surrender to that. Now here we get to <laughs> where it's different for different people, but to that supreme being, the supreme one, that higher power, I surrender to that. Thy will be done, not my will be done. So if you can maintain that attitude when you begin, from the very start, when you begin, I surrender, that will help you. Now, this is very important because you know that one of the, the goals of meditation is really to go beyond this small ego that we have. I'm so great, I'm this, I'm that. We want to get rid of that ego. Everyone says, yeah, get rid of the ego, transcend the ego. But you have, if you start from the very beginning, I surrender, that will help you. It will help you very much. So first tip, surrender to the Supreme. And however you picture that Supreme, it can, it can differ. That's why in Sanskrit there's a word for that. It's your ishta, your personal, your goal, your personal goal, your personal idea of what is who and what is the goal of, of life. So you surrender to that. Surrender your small self so that you can open up to the big self. So that's the first tip. The second tip is to remember that when you do meditation, certainly you do it because you want to get your own benefit. You, oh, I feel good, you know. But you should remember that what you're doing gives pleasure to that Supreme One who you just surrendered to. You're doing this for that one. Not so much for you, not exclusively for you, but whatever I do, whether it's a good meditation, bad meditation, where I feel comfortable, I feel uncomfortable, my effort, the effort that I'm doing, spiritual spiritual effort is called sadhana, that effort, that sadhana, that effort gives pleasure to my Supreme One, to my Ishta. That that effort that I'm doing is giving pleasure to that one, to him, to that her, who, however you want to use, call it. I'm giving pleasure. You know, many times in life, we, we everybody wants to get pleasure, but think that also, I want to give pleasure. So we give pleasure, um, we help our fellow human beings, but even the very fact that we do meditation, that we make spiritual effort, that we do sadhana, we're giving pleasure to that Supreme One, to that God, to that Ishta. Yes. So that's your two steps today, you're almost there. You're almost there. Now the third step is, is part of something which Sri Sri Murti once called the greatest secret of the universe. So what is the greatest secret of the universe? 
He said that the greatest secret of the universe is to realize that it is actually impossible to meditate on God. And the reason is because you are a, a creation of His. You're in His mind. Just like in your mind, if you create a little green man, and then you can imagine, oh, there's a red house, and the green man is, lives in a red house. Like, that green man is your creation. That, that green man is your creation. The green man can't meditate on you. <laughs> You're observing him. And the same is with us. The, the actual metaphysical reality is, is that we are objects and the supreme subject is God. So what you should feel when you're meditating, that, that you know, like you, we sit, you try very hard, I'm meditating, I'm go <laughs> and you're straining, actually, it's a strain, it's difficult, right? It's difficult, it is a little difficult, right? But just lighten up, remember, that God is meditating on you, that God is watching you from the above, in front, in back, all around, everywhere. He's meditating on you. And this, that's, that's the greatest secret of the universe, that you should remember that the Supreme One is meditating on you, is observing you. So now the question comes, here's, Here's how I finish it. He's meditating. He's watching you, right? So what are you doing? He's watching you do what? Not play ping pong or, or tennis. He's watching you sit. He's watching you try to do the process. So here comes the process. Like you, everyone has been taught a process. How you meditate. You how you will sit. What you think. What what your mind will do. So. So what is that Supreme One doing? He's watching you. He's witnessing you from the front, from the back, above, below. And think about that, yes, that you're being watched. Your teacher is watching you. One time when I was first learning meditation, my, um, my instructor was trying to explain this concept, but in a very a different way. He said, yeah, suppose let's say you're learning some something in school, but you feel that, you know when, when you're doing it, you remember. Oh yeah, my teacher's there. You know, so you get extra sharp, you get extra clear, clarity um, when you remember. Yeah, the, the one who taught me it is is observing what I'm doing. So it's not like I'm, I'm goofing off on the side. So if you can remember that, that that supreme one is actually meditating on you, that makes it lighter, right? It's easier than. Oh, it's, a, it's a big strain to think oh, I'm going to encompass, I'm going to meditate on the infinite. The infinite is meditating on me, on you. So those three things, if you can do those three th things, surrender to the Supreme. Take that ego and just give it. <laughs> I surrender. Then remember that this effort that you're doing it may give pleasure to you or may not but it certainly gives pleasure to God this spiritual effort the sadhana gives pleasure to that supreme one and then you start your process and while you're doing the process you remember the supreme one is viewing you He's watching you from the front, from the back, the sides, up and down, from every direction. He's in front of you and back of you, pervading everywhere and watching you. And watching you do what? Trying to meditate on him. So he's meditating on you and you are trying to meditate on him. This is, this is spiritual meditation. And if you follow these three steps, surrender, Remember that you're giving pleasure to the Supreme One and remember that that Supreme One is, is actually meditating on you. If you can do these th three things every time you meditate, it will be great, I promise. So try it, try it out. I, I, I do it all the time because you know, 
it's, meditation's not easy. No one said it was easy to, um, to withdraw the mind, bring the mind within, and, and then explore something new. So this is the, um, the tips, three tips for meditation. And I'm recording this on um, it's September 10th here, here um, 2024. And I make a little announcement for those who are in my area who are within the um, reach of, of Urbana, Illinois, where I'm situated. I'm offering a retreat, a one-day retreat, the autumn retreat is called on October 19th, 2024. It will go from 10 a.m. in the morning to 10 p.m. at night. And in that that 12 hour span, there'll be a lot of activities which will help you to explore the mind and learn what to do, how to meditate, meditate with others, how to do the yoga postures, which will keep you in really good health. A lot of things that you can transform yourself in those uh, that have that day, that day of activity together. So I invite you for that, and I'll put a link in the in the descriptions. But it's basically a link to anandalina.org, which is the meditation center where I'm situated. So if you want to take advantage of that personal instruction, there'll be Zoom access to that also if you can't make it personally. So I invite you to come to the autumn retreat. And that we, we'll, then you get a chance to, to meditate and try these three steps: of sur surrender to the supreme, please the supreme one, and let that supreme one meditate on you. So that's my uh, pitch for tonight, and I hope that you will take me up on that. If not coming well, to a retreat, but at least doing applying the method in your meditation. So I thank you very much. And if you're watching on YouTube, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, whatever you can. You know that the more interaction you have with the particular episodes and the podcasts with, with the material, that helps the algorithm and it will get spread to more people. So that's also part of spirituality, is to spread spirituality to the whole world, to the whole world. And that's good for you, but it's also good for the the whole planet. So I invite you to do that too. Spread the word. So that's all for tonight. For today, I'm in the evening this time here. And I wish you namaskar. It means I salute you with my mind and all the love and cordiality of my heart. Thank you.